The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. I am Was Moses Son, your mathematics teacher. Before we begin the lesson, let us first look at the correction of assignment from the previous lesson. Given the right prism below, name the part represented by letters. So as you can see, this is a right prism, which is precisely a cuboid. We have to name the sides indicated by the letters. So as a solution, the first two letters, R and Q, this is R, is a face, Q is also a face. So, but those faces are lateral faces, which means that there are faces that are actually showing up. X, this is where X is. X is a base face because this cuboid can be turned so that X should lie on the floor. Y and Z, this is Y and this is Z. They are actually sides, or we call them edges. So they are called edges. P, this is P, P is indicating, is showing a perpendicular height. This is the height. We also call it an altitude. Our module, where the lesson is taken from, is titled Solid Figures. This module, is made up of two topics, prisms and regular pyramids. The topic prism is further divided into the following lessons. Right prisms, nets of right prisms, which is actually our lesson, surface area of right prisms, volume of right prisms. Our lesson proper, lesson 39, is titled Needs of Right Prisms. This is a plan for the lesson. We are going to begin with the objectives, prerequisite, problem situation, learning activity, application exercises, and we'll end up with an assignment. As the lesson objective, it is expected that at the end of the lesson, you should be able to draw the net of a given right prism. Any given right prism you have. Four right prisms from their given net. As a prerequisite, learners can already identify and name right prisms. Learners can also identify edges, faces, and vertices of any right prism. Here is an exercise to test our prerequisite 
our prerequisite. Identify and name each of the right prisms given below. Please. You have some right prism display. So looking at this first one, it is a cube. This other one is a cuboid. And this one is a triangular prism. And we are told that all of them are right prisms. So as you have already seen, a cube, a cuboid, and a triangular prism. Here is our real life situation. Paul wants to produce a similar square box using a cartoon as the one shown in A. This is the figure A. His friend advised him to cut the cartoon in a form as shown in the image at B. This is the image at B. And this is the image at C. After obtaining the shape in B, he folded it to form a similar square box as shown in C, but cannot explain the relationship between the image in B and the new box which is actually the square that has been, the cube that has been formed. How can you help explain the relationship between the shapes in B and C to Paul? This is our real life situation. And there is a problem they face by Paul. So, you identify the problem and you keep track of that particular problem. At the end of the lesson, we are going to come back to provide the solution. This is our first learning activity. Consider the right prism represented by the square box below. That square box, you look at it, is actually a cube. Unfold the box and display the plane figure obtained. What is the name given to the plane figure formed? Now, please, as you look at it, this is a cube, as I've said, because a square box represents a cube. As a solution, we have to unfold the box and display the figure, the plane figure obtained. Now, how do we unfold the box? You watch carefully as I display. That is the box. And if we unfold it, we are going to obtain a structure like the shape of the one you, you see displayed. So, showing that when you take this box and you unfold it, one of these side will fall down, the other one here will fall up, which is this one. Then this one at the edge will fall <coughs> out like this. Then this one above will fall up and give this one. And the other one which is at the side will give this. And the one the box is sitting on will give this one. So that is how we are going to obtain a plain figure from the unfolding. So what is the name given to the plain figure formed? What is the name given to the plain figure formed? This plain figure, which is what you see displayed, is actually called the net of a cube or the net of a square box. We move to the second learning activity. Consider the rectangular prism below. Now look at it. 
This one now is a rectangular prism. And a rectangular prism can be represented by a cuboid or any rectangular box. A. Unfold the prism and display the plane figure obtained. B. What is the name given to the plane figure formed? As a solution to this second learning activity, in A, we are asked to unfold the box and display the plane figure form. Now, looking at this cuboid, which is representing our rectangular box and our rectangular prism, unfolding it, if we open it, you see that this side facing us will be represented by this other the side facing us will be represented by this other side now the side at the base will be represented by this one the side behind will be represented by this one and the side above will be represented by this so that these sides by the corner their faces will be represented by this faces. Please, the sides I've been referring to are actually the faces because those sides give the following faces. B. What is the name given to the plane figure formed? Now, looking at this plane figure, this is it. You see that the plane figure is formed from a cuboid. And then when you open the cuboid and display it, we obtain what we have as displayed. Therefore, since this plane figure is formed from the cuboid, we say that this plane figure is the net of a cuboid or the net of a rectangular prism. Now, as a recall, or a co the concepts that we are going to retain from this lesson. The first one, a net of a right prism is a two-dimensional pattern which can be folded to form the right prism. Again, we're saying that a net of a right prism is a two-dimensional pattern which can be folded to form the right prism. Now, a net shows all the surfaces of a solid in one view. So, from what we have just illustrated, you see that when you take a solid figure and you display its net, the net of that solid figure help you to be able to visualize, to see all the faces of that figure in one view. So it represents the image of any solid figure in a plane. Examples of nets of some right prisms are shown below. This is the first one, A the net of a cube, the net of a cube. The second one, this is a net of a cuboid. This is it, the net of the cuboid. And uh, now here are some exercises application exercises for us to consolidate what we have actually learned. Draw the nets of the following right prism. The first one is a cube, the second one is a cuboid, and the third one is a triangular prism. So please, you observe how we are going to get the diagrams represented, representing the nets of each of those right prisms. A, 
we have a box, a square box. Let's suppose that what I am drawing here is actually a square box. And if this is a square box, if this is our square box, we are asked to display the net of each of them. So, to display the net of this square box, you will see that in this dimension, you're not actually seeing it clearly, but this square box has six faces. So the six faces are all identical. Now the face line above and the base faces. If this is the base face and this is the face line above, we are going to have a net as the represented somewhere like this. Now when you open up the ones by the side, they will give something as such. Okay. Now the remaining one that will fall downwards to complete the site, you have something like that. So please, this is how we can bring at the net of a cube. And please, K should be taken that a cube has equal sides or equal edges. Therefore, all the faces forming the net must be equal or must be identical. So please, this is the net of a cube. Net of a cube. As you can see the solution display. So that is actually what I've been trying to illustrate. So looking at that cube and the net, you see that when that net is opened up, you have six faces as you can see displayed. B, that of the cuboid. And looking at that, you see that the net of the cuboid has also been displayed and is similar to that of the cube. But let me just put it down and explain to you where the differences can be observed. B, we have a cuboid. Now, the difference between a cuboid first and a cube that we have just seen is that in a cuboid, the faces are not identical, but are rectangular. The faces are not identical, though they are rectangular. So please, suppose that this is a cuboid. Suppose that this is a cuboid. The net of this cuboid, as you can see, will be obtained as follows. It is the same as that of the cube, but the rectangles are not identical as the squares that made up the net of the cube. So here we rather have rectangles and not squares. Please, as you can see, 
the illustration, you understand that not all the faces are identical, but care should be taken. They must have two pair of opposite faces that are identical. Each pair of opposite faces must be identical. This one must be identical to this. this if you're drawing, note that very important for the tribute. This face must be identical to this face. This face and this one must be identical. This one and this one must be identical. So that is one important aspect you need to know whenever you're coming out with the needs of right prisms, especially that of a cuboid. Now we move to C. C is a triangular prism. Now how do we obtain the net of that triangular prism? You as you see display, that is the net of the triangular prism. But this one, in this case, please, is not just any type of a triangular prism. It is a right triangular prism, which is a right prism. Why? When you look at this, this triangle forming the base, the triangle that forms the base of that prism, there are two of them, when you display the net. And this triangular face here is forming a right angle triangle. This other triangular face here is forming a right angle triangle. So, for it to be a right prism, the triangles form must be right triangles or right angle triangles. And one thing you need to also note that, notice is, or note is that in a triangular prism, we have three rectangular faces that make up a triangular prism. We now look at our real life situation. Paul wants to produce, to reproduce a similar cube using a cartoon as the one shown in figure A. His friend advised him to cut the cartoon in the form as shown in the image at B. Please, if you look at that, you can see the image. This is the image at A, and which is a cube. The image at B, which is the, the box that he has cut. Now, this is the image at C. This image at C is actually obtained from folding what he has cut from the cartoon. Now, we are asked, after observing the shape in B, he folded it to form a similar cube as shown in C. That has already been explained, but cannot explain the relationship between the image in B and the image and the new cube. The new cube is that one in C. How can you help explain the relationship between the shapes in B and C to Paul. Please, this is the situation. The friend has already taken that image in B and folded it to form the similar box that Paul wanted to obtain. But now, cannot give a clear explanation as to why that one has given the original box or the original cube that Paul wanted to produce. So how do we explain that relationship? It is simple. Now, when you look at the image in B, you see that it is not very clear. I will illustrate what you are supposed to have as far as that image is concerned. When you look at that image, the image is something like this, like a cross. It's standing 
up like a cross with equal divided into some faces having equal sizes. So we have some sort of a cross like this. And please, when you observe this, you see that each of these faces is identical and each of them is a square. So each face forms an identical square. And we have just learned from the lesson that whenever we see a net, because this one actually represents a net, in where or whereby each face in that net is identical and forms a square, it means that that net is that of a cube. That is why identifying that this is a net, the net of a cube, and each face corresponding to the original cube that Paul wanted to produce, if Paul fold it, he will just give the required cube that was original, that was originally there, the one Paul wanted to produce. That is why folding it, Paul will have something like this, similar to or very identical to the one he saw and wanted to produce. So it is the lesson of the nets of cubes that has enabled Paul to be able to come out with a similar cube like that. So as you can see, the solution being displayed. So it explains why when Paul fold it, Paul will be able to obtain a similar cube. Now, to practice what we have actually learned, here is an assignment. Think about how each of the following, following needs can be folded to form a cube. Then write down the color of the face that will be opposite the red face in each case. Please, this is A. You see a series of squares that has been combined to form a figure. B, a series of squares that has been combined to form another knit. But you cannot just see from the two figures which knit is it. Two. Which of the following are the nets of a prism? So please, you have some given nets that you can see, but we want, you have to identify the ones that can possibly form prisons. Three, copy and complete each of the following to form the nets of a prism. So you have this. Those are them. So you copy each of them and you complete it and name the type of prism that you can obtain from this half or this part of nets. As some references, for more information on this lesson, you can contact the following textbooks. We have come to the end of the lesson. Our next lesson will be on surface area of right prison. Unna tege si ma tege yob, unna tege minga ma tege nyum, unna tege majang ma tege ndom, mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen, ngani bana ma tege mot, ngani la kiri wa tege ndong, esa kina bia dinki do, mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen. Tam tama mote tam zabike Tam tama tonge tam zabike Tam tam tama mote tam zabike Mane tambia ninyane injubya yen